Hello and welcome back to MotoGP20 and today we're online and once again it's been a long long time since I've done a playing MotoGP online video but we're back hopefully the mic quality is okay I'm using a different mic because I have misplaced my other one but I'm just going to do what I always have done just do about six races online and I'll just show the best bits from each so then as you'll have seen from the intro of the first race we're here at Silverstone I suppose Quattararo as well mainly because I kind of just forgot to be honest, uh, I, I forgot to pick a rider and that's just who I got given, so we're waiting for the lights to go out here then at Silverstone. Someone's left the lobby already, lights and away we go, we've had a pretty decent start, someone has not gone off the line, I think some players near just didn't go off the line there, so we go down towards the first corner. It has been a good long while since I've actually played the MotoGP class, so this could go uh, pretty badly. We're up to fifth place anyway, Mugen has fell off apparently. Le Petit Fumi in front of me, so obviously we've played against him plenty of times before I've seen him in the lobby, he's, well, he's down anyway, he's in contact with Good Chris, we've gone past Good Chris, and oh, someone else has just caught a cut, there's been a crash as well, this Suzuki is a bit wide, can we try and get him, obviously we're using power mode 2, this, wow, we've been hit by Good Chris, he had a fantastic exit, I don't know how he pulled that one off, he must have literally sat the bike up on the fat bit of tyre so early, so down towards Stowe then, everyone's broke very, very early, we've now made up another position, so we're now back up into third position again. Uh, that Repsol Honda crashed, but it was nothing to do with me, as far as I can tell. I didn't get that close to him. Good Chris looks like he's going for a movie to... But hey! Oh! Okay, I've lost the front. I told you it's been a long time. Actually, did I get taken out? Because the guy behind me has crashed as well. I'm not sure. I think I just trailed too much front brake, to be honest. Uh, obviously, playing a lot of Modo 2, it's pretty much impossible to lose the front end on Modo. Well, it's not impossible, but it is a... Uh, a lot harder to lose a front end in Moto2 than it is in MotoGP. So it's definitely going to take me a little bit of time to get back up to speed. Okay, this time, that time I did get taken out. <laughs> so we know it wouldn't be an online video unless I got took out uh, by another Patronus bike as well, unfortunately. So we'll just cut back onto the track here. Uh, seventh place out of 11. This has just been the perfect start to the video. Good Chris has gone down. Actually, the start was pretty good. It was just until I folded the front going into a. Uh, Right, okay. That guy obviously is trying to take me out on purpose. Because <laughs> he just uh, kind of got to try and get me. So I'm now 12.1 seconds behind Dak in the front. I don't think I'll... Okay, I was going to say I don't think I'll be catching him, but he's now right there. Um, I hope, again, I'm not being weighed up for. Because uh, obviously that other guy has this completely straight line of corners trying to take me out. Although this guy just looks like he's struggling a little bit. In fact, he was actually in the lead. I'm sure this guy was in the lead uh, earlier on. He's the one that broke really early for Stowe and he just caught everybody out behind. So... Yeah, he's probably just not quite got the pace of a crash on me as well. So 2.13.2, that's exactly how you want to go. That's the exact kind of lap time you're aiming for. Uh, very, very fast around Silverstone at 2.13.2. Let's see if we can get any closer to this guy anyway. Doesn't help out I'm corner crossing either. And I've now got a 6 tenth penalty because I turned in too early. Uh, someone else on this straight is going very, very slow. So this could get interesting. It looks like it's... Uh, I I'm not even going to have an attempt at pronouncing that name. Oh, it's getting close. They've gone a little bit wide, both of them. Right, we've got to watch out into Vale this time. We hit the brakes nice and early through Vale. Wow, that guy has gone in so hot. In fact, they both have. They've both gone in super wide. He's going to mess up the next section because of that. Up the inside through turn nine. Into club. We're now in front. Hopefully, we don't get destroyed at Abbey again, but we might do. But we're back up into fifth place now. I don't think we're going to get any higher up than this unless there's some crashes in front. Good Chris is ahead, 4.7 seconds ahead, to be exact. It'll be interesting to see what this lap time is because, I mean, obviously I did corner cuts and I did get held up a little bit, but it's not been too bad. Mark Marquez has fell off as well. Uh, so that's uh, well, Mark Marquez playing as Joan Mir has fell off. So. Oh, someone has crashed in! Oh, why did they do that? Okay, I mean, I did see them, but right at the last second, and I thought that they would, you know, probably wait. Uh, well, they, I guess they did wait, because they're a lap down. Um, put, put in their URL as well. Um, to be honest, that's kind of stupid. Uh, there's an AI Mark Marquez actually in third place, apparently. There's actually an AI in this race, which I didn't even realise. Uh, well, that's how bad this race has gone. Sixth place. We actually only lost one position from that. But I, I have no idea what this guy's doing. And he's a lap down. And he's just rejoining the track like that. Yet he's, uh, his name is actually an eSports League. So that doesn't really make much sense. 
Uh, another another self promoter won the race then, uh, putting his Twitch out there. Uh, apparently, uh, the a lot of people on Steam have twi uh, their Twitch names on Steam. Which is interesting. But here we go then through the final turn. It's not been a good return to online, uh, but hopefully, hopefully it'll be better in the next one. So from one British track to the other, we're at Donington, but there's a Morbidelli actually on the floor at the back. But in other news, we're on pole position at a track I know really well. So this could go very well. It also could go very bad because we could get absolutely taken out. I've just realised that I have to control on four that whole race as well and even think to change it. But lights out and away we go off the line then. Have we got the launch that I want? Uh, no, we've been overtaken, but we're going to hit the brakes nice and early. I've actually had a bit of contact with him. Oh, I've been dive on by an Aprilia, but we've got back in front. So one Luke Skywalker takes the lead to start with. So we've got... The guy from Star Wars winning the race as we go through Craner Curves down towards the old hairpin. I'll just try and maximise your corner speed through the old hairpin. I've gone onto the grass. I've tried to maximise it a little too much, but luckily it is the MotoGP game, so it's fairly forgiving when you go on the grass. Uh, even with off-track help off, which obviously I do have off because I use pro physics. Uh, he's gone very, very wide there. That's a track extension if I've ever seen one, but I went on the grass earlier in the lap. So I can't really say much. I've cut coppice. So yeah, there you go. Once again, being pretty forgiving. Uh, there's been a couple of people rage quit. We've got a pretty big gap to the guy behind. Uh, there is a, there's still 10 people in the race, though, apparently, so that's not too bad then. So down towards the chicane, the Fogarty S's. He's messed that one up a little bit, but he's actually pulled away from it. So fair play to him. Down towards the Melbourne loop. You've got to watch out you don't tuck the front into this hairpin because it's very, very easy to tuck the front on the GP bikes. And of course, like I said, I'm still trying to adapt from the Moto 2s. So we've been doing a lot of that with the whole league racing. Uh, the next R Racing videos will be coming soon. I just have really have been behind on editing them. Uh, there's two to, to go and they're both pretty decent races. So hopefully you will enjoy those. Uh, 29 5 on the first lap, so nothing groundbreaking there, so that's why he's probably pulling away from <gasps> me, and I've lost the front again. See, this is a uh, this kind of takes me back to a few months ago when I was doing Moto 2 career and I was playing online. Uh, I used to wash the front out all the time, and that is gonna start happening again, I think. I don't know what this guy's doing, he's just gone grass tracking, he's gone grass tracking again, I've gone grass tracking now as well. Uh, obviously with sympathy uh, but it's the guy from before the guy that you know waited a lap up and then just came back on the track in front of me i've now gone past him so that was a uh, pretty easy oh no he's come back at me uh, but i think the other guy the luke skywalker guy is going to win pretty easily we're back up into second position once again now uh, seven seconds down but we can still try and go for fastest lap that's something i can try and uh, take solace from obviously we're not going to get on this lap but we could try and get it on the final lap of the race if I can do a fairly decent lap. We'll see kind of what time we've got to beat because that guy hasn't really made too many mistakes. 25-3, actually a pretty decent lap at Donington uh, on this game anyway at least. So 30.4, 25-2 for good Chris. So good Chris actually was pretty quick. So when before I thought he was going really slow, I guess it was just sort of first lap uh, things. Because sort of in the first race he was getting in people's way but then he did absolutely launch it past me. So obviously he knew what he was doing. Uh, down through Craner Curves and reusing the curbs. That is some bravery there. Absolutely. So we're only six seconds behind this guy now. So we have taken a good amount of time out of him. And of course, I've crashed again. <laughs> uh, right, going to watch the track not to rejoin. Although I would have gladly rejoined in front of him. That's what happened last time. But yeah, this race, I can't blame anybody but myself. I've made two mistakes. Uh, yeah poor race from me there I still need to get back into the groove of the MotoGP bikes where is that guy going through coppice so we're back up into third place it's still going to be a podium should be as long as we get to the flag of course we could easily drop it again though I was pushing for that fastest lap we were catching the guy in front so if I hadn't lost the front the first time we definitely would have been on for the victory because we took a whole second out of him so we had the pace we could have tried to get past him but unfortunately I'm just terrible at the game, so I crashed a lot. I do need to try and start playing a bit more MotoGP class, especially for videos, just to try and get a bit more in the groove with it. We've gone very, very wide through Goddard's, actually. But if we try and clip a little bit of late Apex, the Luke Skywalker guy actually did 24-2 on that last lap, so 
much quicker than what was done before. So if we'd actually finished our lap, we took a second out of him already in that sector. So yeah, it would have, uh, would have been a very, very good lap, I assume. So after absolutely squandering any chance at that victory, we're here now at Assen. This time we're on the Ducati, so we're not on pole position as Marquez again. Uh, there, there's some AI in the lobby this time though, because quite a few people left, obviously, in the last race. So we've got to watch out for that, because they're not going to be on 120, that's for sure. So waiting for the lights to go out. A couple of people actually left the lobby. I'm going to the right-hand side just to avoid the AI. See, they've already been absolutely swamped by the entire grid as we get down towards the first corner. AI, Alex Marquez, it's crap. Oh, oh. <laughs> How have I made it through that? How have I made it through? So I get... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, AI, Mark Marquez. Oh, what? What? <laughs> the AI just being like pinball. Like, the, the AI is bowling, playing bowling with all the other riders. But their bikes are skittling into everybody. I've been hit a couple of times. I've got a penalty as well, somehow. But either way, I'm now pretty the lead of the race. I got skittled by someone's Ducati in the first corner. And then another bike flies up the inside into the... Like, right in front of me. I'm sure I got clouded by somebody else on the side. And then I get hit into Petrucci. And then Marcus on the inside just crashes and just skittles two other people out with him. And now we're up to the lead of the race all of a sudden. So, absolutely unbelievable scenes. Alright, well, that's actually made it a bit easier for me because, uh, as far as I know now, it's AI Danilo Petrucci sat in second position. So, as we come towards the line, then what's this time going to be? 30.7 actually isn't too bad considering uh, how kind of rusty I am. So, I'm quite happy with that. 3.4 seconds up the road of Petrucci now. So, we've just got to bring this home on this last lap and we'll have a victory. But I don't feel like I deserve it. It was a very lucky win, of course, with all those crashes with the AI. But whoever set the lobby up, why would you put AI on? I don't know. But thank you for doing that, because that basically gave me a victory. So I think came for the final time then. Coming up towards the line, we've finally got a victory here in online. Only took us three races, but like I said, it was very, very lucky. Because look, it's still the AI in second, and he wasn't that far behind considering how much I should have got away from him. So then, we won ahead of two AI, and then the next rider was 32 seconds behind, and the next one 34. So I'm not sure what the numbers are like in the lobby now, because there's a lot of, you know, not classified. So Mark Marquez being not classified is not a surprise, considering his bike took out about two people. So yeah, I'm hoping there won't be a lack of people for the next race, but we might have to move lobbies if there is. So now we move on to Catalonia, and there's even more AI on the grid. <laughs> so this one's going to be quite interesting. Davizioso on pole, because obviously I've changed the rider again. I'm playing as Mir this time. I'm... Li oh, I was going to say I'm literally last, but there is actually a whole row of people behind me, so never mind. So watch out, the people in front of me are all AI, I think. And uh, not, like, right in front of me, I don't mean just in front of me in terms of... The wow, that guy on the Yamaha has had a fantastic start. Uh, we are already up into third place. He's got a fantastic start, but he's not got fantastic internet by the looks of it. Oh, ho, ho. I was so close to hitting up the back of some of those guys then. So we try and rejoin. I would have rejoined through the long lap, but of course we don't have that. Uh, so I just have to kind of rejoin safely. I also didn't want to rejoin behind the AI because, well, I was in front of them already. So I just didn't want to trip up the back of that Aprilia Esports guy uh, in front of me because I broke a little bit too late for that. Oh, I've just been overtaken. Oh. Right, okay, I didn't even see how those guys crashed, but, uh, yeah, they did. Uh, I was looking more at Marquez that had just come underneath me, which, uh, kind of threw me off a little bit. I w I'm sorry? What? Ah, oh, it's Le Petit Fumi's lagging. Okay, that makes sense. I, I was like, how did him and that Aprilia guy crash? And then, that probably makes sense. He lagged back into the Aprilia just because we took him out. So on my screen they both crashed, so I got in front of them. And then he's just absolutely rammed me on my screen as well, which is lagging. So that's fun. But he was obviously a lot slower in the previous race than I was, so maybe I can try and catch him up. Down towards turn 10 then, the, the eSports guy has gone very, very wide. Not enough for me to get underneath him, of course, but we gained a lot of time on him anyway. Uh, so we're using the hard tyre, of course. Uh, oh, okay, it's been another crash. So another couple of riders have gone, so we're now back up into fourth place. Rider in front must be an AI, I, I assume. Although I think they might have all got collected. I think one AI actually might have got completely took out when I got took out as well. Because AI Alex Marquez crashed. 
but obviously I figured out it was the guy that you know I thought had already crushed and had and it must have been him that lagged and caused the accident in the first place. So 1.6 seconds to uh, person in front. Is it AI? No, it's not because they just went super wide. So actually, it is all people in front of me now. So this should be a little bit more difficult. The passes definitely will be anyway, at least, because obviously you can absolutely dive on the AI. Oh, the guy in front's gone down. So we're now up to third place. Uh, not sure who's in front. I think it's Lepetti Fumi up next now. So uh, that'll be uh, that'll be interesting if I do catch up to him because it'll be very difficult to pass with a lot of lag. Although there is someone not too far in front of him actually as well. So uh, there's actually a couple of bat couple battling. Although we've just gone so wide into ten. So 39.9 from the guy leading the race. I've turned 39.3, so six tenths faster. But because it's in there three seconds up the road, I'm going to need about five laps, and I've got one. So uh, third place should be where we get, but they could collide because they're super, super close. They've spread apart a bit more now, so I don't think there's going to be any chance of a collision, unfortunately. So it is going to be third, unless it's a mistake. I think I was a bit more than six tenths quicker on this lap, to be honest with you. I've uh, closed up a lot, but I've gone so wide into the last corner. The front tyre actually overheated, which is uh, quite strange. Doesn't ever happen to me. But as we come towards the line, then what's the time going to be on this one? Yeah, 38.6, a good chunk quicker than we have been before. But unfortunately, third place, although that kind of balances out with Aston because um, we would have won this one on merit. But this time we got took out by somebody else. And uh, Although actually in Aston, we ended up about 40 seconds in front. And you don't do that unless you actually have the pace. So we seem to be getting more up to speed. So we've got a couple of races to go. I'm hoping we can try and get a couple of wins out of those. So then, this time we're here at Qatar. I'm not sure where on the grid we are. Pretty close to the back. I don't think anyone actually joined or left, though, so the grid position should be the same as last time. So I should have about three people behind me. Uh, no, actually, I have uh, five people behind me, so I'm guessing people did leave. But waiting for the lights to go out here, then all lights out, and away we go. Got to watch out for this AI, of course, not going off the line very well, although I've got... Okay. That makes it a bit easier when people weave and take the AI out. Uh, obviously... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh what, what has happened at this first corner? Someone has uh, skittled like everybody out and then I've been dive bombed up the inside by a Yamaha, uh, rode up him and then have sort of been careered into a Suzuki who's managed to stay on. But we're now at the back of this pack, the gun going pretty slow so we've gone past him. Although I've not been awarded the position for that so I'm guessing, right, we're going to probably lag out in a second. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Bonnaby, this just fell off. Oh, Bomb Boy, sorry, Bomb Boy, I didn't read that right. That guy really didn't get on the power, did he? Well, that's the guy that uh, won the last race. We caught him a lot, didn't we? So we've got past him now. A uh, AI Marquez is actually still running the pace of the, the front guys. Although he's just broke very. Oh, it's actually Alex Marquez as well. It's not even. Mar oh, okay, well, he's now down. Uh, he's pushed that KTM wide. Uh, so that's allowed me to get back up into third place. And there I can see. There's the Aprilia, obviously that's been uh, a bit of a bit of a nuisance throughout this lobby. Uh, obviously he caused the problem at Silver, so he hasn't really done anything else since. Like I don't mean like anything bad, but I just mean he's been in my way a couple of times. But obviously he's uh, more than uh, more than allowed to be there. It's just when he rejoined the track at Silverstone a lap down, that kind of annoyed me. So I've not forgiven him for that yet. And uh, then Strange91 is the one that's leading. So that's the guy that we careered into the side of at the first. But we've all just gone miles off the track. Uh, which I know I, I hate it when uh, people do that, so I don't know why I followed them. I, it was kind of just a mistake, to be honest. I didn't go as far off as they did. All those guys have just gone all the way to the tarmac uh, on the outside there. We've gone in way too wide since the last corner, though. That was just a mistake. I ran in wide. Uh, luckily, though, no one that close. Hopefully, we can try to get the slipstream on this guy, though. Try and pass him down towards turn one. We have got one hell of a slipstream, actually. Uh, but it's not going to be close enough, I don't think. No, it's not, because he actually braked fairly late. He's going wide, though, isn't he? Yeah. So there we go then. So we have actually got past with the help of Slipstream, I suppose, because we got a bit closer to him. So when he made his braking mistake, we actually got through. Although well, he's probably going to career... Oh, so I thought he was going to career up the inside. He careered up the outside, nearly into the back of me there. So up to second now then. This Suzuki is ahead of us. Can we try and get him? We should be able to. We should be able to get him uh, without too many problems. Oh, I can hear that Aprilia behind. I do not like it. He's gone in wide through six, trying to get on the gas. Here we go. I actually wheeled a little bit there. We've got the line. We're going to get up the inside, I think. Ah, he's just gone in really wide to seven. He tried to outbreak me there. It's not worked out for him. So there we go then. Up into first position in this race. Just isn't too bad. It's in the start we had. Obviously, we didn't get hit off like... Uh, well, we've just been hit off the track. We got hit off the track then as well, actually. But uh, 
we didn't crash like quite a few of the other guys did that were in front of us, luckily. Something's behind us up. What? They're, they're weaving each other a lot behind. So if we have a look over the line, 51.5 actually isn't too bad, considering I thought I was actually riding quite poorly on that lap. So uh, these guys actually got slightly better pace than I've been giving them credit for. So coming up towards the line then, what's this lap time going to be? Another 51, 51 too. So we're, we actually are starting to really get onto the kind of times that I would normally do. So it's nice to see. Although the front tyre was extremely cold, so perhaps I've uh, adjusted my riding style a little bit to push the front less, which isn't a bad thing, but it's not great that the temperature is so low, so I might need to put a bit more weight on the front, perhaps. But a very, very simple victory, really. We had the pace over those guys. But that, that start was... Was weird it was so so weird so then about seven seconds in the lead in the end let's go on to the last race of the video now hopefully it's a good track so then here we are for the final race of the video we're back at Catalonia unfortunately it wasn't me that decided to come here of course it was the host decision to pick this track once again but there you go then so we are we are actually last this time we're actually in 12th place on the grid so this will be interesting lights out and away we go it means we've got a full grid of Actually, it doesn't mean we've got a full grid of players at all. Well, okay. Alex Marquez has gone. Uh, people weaving all over the shop. So down towards the first corner then on the brakes. Oh, I've been dive bombed absolutely massively there. There's been a oh, horrendous accident through that first corner. We've actually gone from 12th to 2nd in a corner. That is absolutely unbelievable. So then, let's see. Can we catch up to this Yamaha in front? I'm going to throw everything at it because I want to get another victory in this lobby. Especially now that my pace seems to be fairly good once again. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that I've not been constantly tucking the front, but I'll probably tuck the front into turn 5 now I've said that. But I really want to try and hunt this guy down, although I've not got much rear temperature right now. So at the end of that first lap, he's put about 2 seconds into me, so he's, uh, he's definitely quicker. We're not going to catch him, unfortunately. But to be honest, uh, 12th to second in a corner, I'm still not really over that. Absolutely ridiculous start. We've had some really, really chaotic starts actually in this lobby, uh, which is always, it's always fun. You know when you jump back in online for the first time in quite a long time, I've been, it's a bit of a bit of a baptism of fire, hasn't it really, uh, coming back, trying to adapt to the bikes, uh, absolutely crazy first laps, I'm sure the only sort of normal one was the first race, or maybe the second one as well, but uh, really, actually in fact, even at Silverstone it was chaotic, wasn't it, so I, we've had some very, very interesting first laps, and I think a big part of that is the fact that there's AI in this lobby. Uh, they do definitely spice things up, but not in the way that uh, you would really intend. So as we come up towards the line then, 38.8, so a little bit slower than before, 37.2 for that guy. He's he's extremely fast, he's probably like an eSports guy or something uh, that I didn't realise, because I've come across that in lobbies before, I've been like, this guy is so fast, that the comments people are like, yeah, that guy's an eSports rider, and you're like, ah, oh, that makes sense. Um, it's fun to race against some good riders. We've got Night Owl now, uh, playing as Jack Miller behind us. I think it's Jack Miller, it might just be a uh, custom Pramac. But either way, there's a Pramac behind us, and he's going to be looking for a way past on this final lap. So we've got to try and keep him behind, because I want to bring home a second position. If I can't bring home a first position, I'd rather still win our battle, even if it's not the one that I thought I was going to be in. We've held this second position since the first corner, of course, so I don't want to lose it. Uh, three and a half seconds behind the guy in front now. Half a second back to the rider behind. Uh, he's, he's, oh, he's crashed. He's crashed. He was playing as Miller, actually, anyway. So, uh, good good eyesight there from myself. Coming through the final turn, Catalonia corner. We've ran a little bit wide there. But out the last corner we go. Corodin wins the race. But we come home in second position. Not a bad result from the back of the grid. I will absolutely take that in an online lobby. That's for sure. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been interesting. The first laps have been very interesting in this lobby, that is for sure. So then four seconds behind him in the end, so not quite got the pace of that rider, but a very, very good, uh, well, he, he had a very good pace there, but still a decent result, obviously, like I said, from the back of the grid. But I hope you guys did enjoy that one. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Hope you're all staying safe, and I shall see you in the next one.